first memories for me on the Abraham Lincoln was coming down as an apprentice. Several of us at apprentice school at the time uh, went to the christening and watched it. Um, my mom was here, I was here, uh, and it was a great event. Tons and tons of people, lots of balloons as I recall. Um, just a, it's an incredible event to watch. Well, what's special about this boat to me is from keel to mast, I did all the erecting and setting work. So now it's been out to sea for 25 years and it's back in for the refueling complex overhaul and I'm, I'm on it again. So kind of makes me feel old for one thing, but it, it's just kind of special that um, I've, I've touched it twice now. We have several hundred shipbuilders that took part in the CVN 72 new construction program that are now taking an active part in the CVN 72 RCOA. When it left Newport News the first time after new construction, it left Newport News as the most capable aircraft carrier in the world. Right now we're in the phase where we're getting out of the rip-out phase and getting into the rebuild phase. And all of the material that we sent away to get refurbished is now coming back to the ship. You can uh, look at the ship now and you can see the radar masts start coming aboard. We're taking our catapults and rebuilding them uh, really heavy into the refueling portion of the ship. Uh, shafts, I got a chance to go down and look at our shafts yesterday at Collins Machine Works and those are coming along great. So we're starting to bring things back to the ship uh, in preparation for undocking. Our aircraft carriers are the centerpiece of our Navy and getting them out there uh, and having them on station is what we're paid to do and, and these maintenance periods that we're involved in right now are crucial to ensuring that our ships operate when they go back to sea. We have a great track record of maintaining our ships and it provides us the availability that we need. So uh, I tell the crew every day it's important that we get the ship done on time because we need to get her back to the fight. I think that its namesake would be proud of, if he were here today, he would be proud of what he'd see. Not just the Navy crew, but the shipbuilders who work side by side with the Navy are very committed to what they do. Uh, we have a tough job, just like he did, but we also are very proud of what we do. It's worth fighting for, and I think that uh, what we do counts every day. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, we're going to be a stronger nation because of what we do.